Isaiah 54 17 No weapon that is fashioned against you shall succeed, and you shall confute every tongue that rises against you in judgment. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their vindication from me, declares the Lord. Psalm 91 1-16 He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge, his faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Jude 1 24-25 now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling, and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy, to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority, before all time and now and forever. Amen. Isaiah 40:28 31 have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary, his understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might he increases strength. Even youths shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted, but they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles, they shall run and not be weary, they shall walk and not faint. Psalm 23 1-6 A Psalm of David The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Isaiah 26 3-4 you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Psalm 18 1-6 To the choir master, a psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, who addressed the words of this psalm to the Lord. On the day when the Lord rescued him from the hand of all his enemies, and from the hand of Saul. He said, I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. The cords of death encompassed me, the torrents of destruction assailed me, the cords of shoal entangled me, the snares of death confronted me. Psalm 91:10. No evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague come near your tent. Isaiah 43:1-7. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you, I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. 
I give Egypt as your ransom, Cush and Seba in exchange for you. Because you are precious in my eyes, and honored, and I love you, I give men in return for you, peoples in exchange for your life. Fear not, for I am with you, I will bring your offspring from the east, and from the west I will gather you. Psalm 121 1-8 A Song of Ascents I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, he who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper, the Lord is your shade on your right hand. John 3:16. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. 1 Peter 2.9 But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Psalm 1-1-6 Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Daniel 12 1 At that time shall arise Michael, the great prince who has charge of your people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never has been since there was a nation till that time. But at that time your people shall be delivered, everyone whose name shall be found written in the book. John 14:14. 14, 14. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. John 8:32. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Hebrews 4.16 Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. John 3.16-17 For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through Him. Psalm 25 1-22 Of David To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust, let me not be put to shame, let not my enemies exult over me. Indeed. None who wait for you shall be put to shame, they shall be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord, teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation, for you I wait all the day long. John 10:10. 10, 10. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Isaiah 58 8-9 Then shall your light break forth like the dawn, and your healing shall spring up speedily, your righteousness shall go before you, the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer, you shall cry, and he will say, 
here I am. If you take away the yoke from your midst, the pointing of the finger, and speaking wickedness. John 14 6 Jesus said to him, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Matthew 13 43 Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. He who has ears, let him hear. Psalm 127 1 A Song of Ascents Of Solomon Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. Psalm 119-105 Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Revelation 1-6 And made us a kingdom, priest to his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. 1 John 3 2 Beloved, we are God's children now, and what we will be has not yet appeared, but we know that when he appears we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he is. Galatians 5:22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Psalm 117 1-2 Praise the Lord, all nations! Extol Him, all peoples! For great is His steadfast love toward us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord! 1 John 1 9 If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Romans 12 2 Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Matthew 24 21 For then there will be great tribulation, such as has not been from the beginning of the world until now, no, and never will be. Matthew 13 16 but blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Jeremiah 29 If I say, I will not mention him, or speak any more in his name, there is in my heart as it were a burning fire shut up in my bones, and I am weary with holding it in, and I cannot. Psalm 111.10 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, all those who practice it have a good understanding. His praise endures forever. Revelation 15.4 Who will not fear, O Lord, and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship you, for your righteous acts have been revealed. Revelation 7 1-17 After this I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth, that no wind might blow on earth or sea or against any tree. Then I saw another angel ascending from the rising of the sun, with the seal of the living God, and he called with a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to harm earth and sea, saying, 
do not harm the earth or the sea or the trees, until we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. And I heard the number of the sealed, 144,000, sealed from every tribe of the sons of Israel, 12,000 from the tribe of Judah were sealed, 12,000 from the tribe of Reuben, 12,000 from the tribe of Gad. 1 John 3 8 Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning, the reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. 2 Peter 3.18 But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be the glory both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. Galatians 3.13 Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us, for it is written, Curse is everyone who is hanged on a tree. Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. John 16 13 When the Spirit of Truth comes, He will guide you into all the truth, for He will not speak on His own authority, but whatever He hears He will speak, and He will declare to you the things that are to come. John 1 1 In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Psalm 103.21 Bless the Lord, all His hosts, His ministers, who do His will. Psalm 84.10 For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God, than dwell in the tents of wickedness. Psalm 82 1-8 A Psalm of Asaph God has taken his place in the divine council, in the midst of the gods he holds judgment, how long will you judge unjustly and show partiality to the wicked? Selah give justice to the weak and the fatherless, maintain the right of the afflicted and the destitute. Rescue the weak and the needy, deliver them from the hand of the wicked. They have neither knowledge nor understanding, they walk about in darkness, all the foundations of the earth are shaken. Psalm 61 1-4 To the choir master, with stringed instruments. Of David. Hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer, from the end of the earth I call to you when my heart is faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. Let me dwell in your tent forever. Let me take refuge under the shelter of your wings. Selah Revelation 9 1-21 And the fifth angel blew his trumpet, and I saw a star fallen from heaven to earth and he was given the key to the shaft of the bottomless pit. He opened the shaft of the bottomless pit, and from the shaft rose smoke like the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened with the smoke from the shaft. Then from the smoke came locusts on the earth, and they were given power like the power of scorpions of the earth. They were told not to harm the grass of the earth or any green plant or any tree but only those people who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. They were allowed to torment them for five months, but not to kill them, and their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it stings someone. Romans 1 1-32 Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the holy scriptures, concerning his son, 
who was descended from David according to the flesh and was declared to be the Son of God in power, according to the Spirit of holiness by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith, for the sake of his name among all the nations. Malachi 4 5 Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet, before the great and awesome day of the Lord comes. Isaiah 35 5 Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Psalm 103 20 Bless the Lord, O you his angels, you mighty ones who do his word, obeying the voice of his word. 1 Samuel 1:11. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if you will indeed look on the affliction of your servant, and remember me and not forget your servant, but will give to your servant a son, then I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life, and no razor shall touch his head. Revelation 26 Blessed and holy is the one who shares in the first resurrection. Over such the second death has no power, but they will be priests of God and of Christ, and they will reign with him for a thousand years. 2 Peter 3:11 since all these things are thus to be dissolved, what sort of people ought you to be in lives of holiness and godliness? Hebrews 3.1 Therefore, holy brothers, you who share in a heavenly calling, consider Jesus, the Apostle and High Priest of our Confession. 2 Timothy 2.15 do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. Colossians 1.15 He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. Colossians 1.1-29 Paul an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the saints and faithful brothers in Christ at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints, because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. Of this you have heard before in the word of the truth, the Gospel. Philippians 4.19 And my God will supply every need of yours, according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 1.3 Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Acts 12:12. 12, 12. When he realized this, he went to the house of Mary, the mother of John whose other name was Mark, where many were gathered together and were praying. Acts 1:8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. John 3 1-36 Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi! We know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, 
I say to you, unless one is born again he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Jeremiah 39 17 But I will deliver you on that day, declares the Lord, and you shall not be given into the hand of the men of whom you are afraid. Isaiah 40 11 He will tend his flock like a shepherd, he will gather the lambs in his arms, he will carry them in his bosom and gently lead those that are with young. Isaiah 35 6 Then shall the lame man leap like a deer, and the tongue of the mute sing for joy. For waters break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. Isaiah 35 2 it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Proverbs 25:11. A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in a setting of silver. 